Hi guys, in this video we are going to see what's in my bag. So let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashwini and I love making plushies and amigurumi toys. In today's video, we are going to see what's in my bag, the amigurumi version. So I am a very nosy person when it comes to bags. I used to love watching what's in my bag video, uh, what's in my purse, what's in my wallet. Oh my God, I had a full playlist of those uh, when I used to go to office back in 2020. And since the pandemic, I'm working from home so I do have many office bags but I'm not using them currently and they're just lying in my closet and I was like I should make my version of what's in my bag video so so today in today's video we are going to see what's in my amigurumi bag so this is the bag I got this from Timu uh, it's been almost six months I have this with me and I've tried all the other versions like after I got this bag also I tried using small pouches and everything but I come back to this so this is my nice compact bag not my favorite color but I'm working with it guys so this bag has a pouch in front it has two slip pockets on both sides then it on the on the back side it has place to keep your knitting needles so that they are nicely organized and then it has handles and on the top it has this uh this holes here from where you can pull your pull your yarn so that it doesn't mess up so this is an amazing bag when you are traveling and you are carrying your project with it but i also use this on regular basis at home only when I work with plushies and plush yarns, it's a little difficult because you can't store much. But uh, other than that, yeah, if you are just working with worsted weight, this is the bag to go, guys. So, uh, okay. So first we'll start from the pouch, which is right here. Let's see. So when you open the pouch, you have this flap. Uh, it's for you to keep all your hooks so I have them all organized in sizes a little pocket here it's a see-through pocket so uh, see-through pockets and you can keep all your stuff here so let's go with my favorite hook so this is the hook that I use on a regular regular basis so I, as, you, uh, as in my first video, I mentioned I got a whole kit from Amazon, like a non-branded one, just a regular kit. It had all sizes of hooks, but I wasn't a fan of those. So these are the hooks from that collection that I got. And I went on YouTube and I was looking for some other ergonomic hooks and 0.5, but then I found that this is my favorite. So this is the hook that I use. And to make plushies, um, so I just, I just got this one. I, I want to get an other sizes also, but we'll see because the other hooks are just fine. So I don't want to waste money. Um, so the, so this is the 3.5 that I use when I'm working with eyes yarn and, and four when I'm working with burnet and loops and threads. So my most used sizes are 3, 3.5 and 4. I rarely go to 6 or 7. Like I don't like those. They are too big for me. <laughs> and then I have a small brush. So I use this when I have to put blush on my projects. So this is from Real Techniques. I just got this for my... I, I don't use... Uh, brushes for makeup so this was just for my army gurumi <laughs> so in this pouch the transparent one are my scissors so these are my favorite scissors this also i got from uh, timu initially i just had a regular scissor but yeah i figured out that i'll have my own very own scissors for my projects so this is a nice rose gold one and it really uh, has sharp ends so to snip your yarn off 
um, then I have some embroidery floss we you need this for uh, embroidering eyebrows or if you want to do a nose or something so for that then I have my needles so they are the best when you have to close up your projects when you have to do embroidery so uh, when I got the set uh, of hooks they gave me a set of needles but then I so they gave me all oops and they are done so they gave me the silver ones but I was looking on uh, like I was watching some YouTube videos and they recommended to have a angled needle which which helps when you are uh, when you are sewing your amigurumi parts so I got this angled one and I love them I am using these like forever now so I have two and then I don't use the silver ones but they are there and my stitch markers I have a lot and as you know if you are crochet you have the stitch markers all over the house so I have one in my kitchen one here one in the dining room one in my closet so I lose them all the time so I have a I have a kit like with many so but I keep just like four or five in my go-to bag so these are the stitch markers I love them because they clip and they are easy not too fancy just basic so my go-to stitch markers I can't do without stitch markers I forget the count all the time and I have to go back and I cannot risk working a big project and then missing my stitches so that was all in the outside pouch uh, on the sides uh, on the sides I have just my um what you call that measuring tape i just have a measuring tape here just in case i mostly need this when i have to uh, list my products on etsy to measure their sizes and in this side i just had a piece of paper so, yeah so on the behind the back of the bag so as i said they have this slots they have this slots to put your knitting needles but I don't knit so I use them for my other stuff as you know when you buy polyfill this they have this stick in them so that it makes it easier for you to stuff your stuffing but a tip from Ellie's Rose Crochet's channel she said that if you break that uh, break the stick it becomes more easier to stuff your stuffing because it has this rigid uh, end which helps you know to catch the polyfill and stuff it properly so I went ahead and I broke mine and it works great so amazing tip guys from Ellie's Rose Crochet and then I have a chopstick you must be thinking why this girl has a chopstick in her crochet bag so back when I told you like I used to watch this YouTube videos for what's in my bag so so in one of the video the youtuber suggested to uh, to keep a wooden utensil kit in the bag so I, I was like I really like that idea and I went ahead on Amazon and I got the kit where uh, it had a fork a spoon and then it had chopsticks and I thought to myself like why am I going where am I going to use chopstick and it's been two three years it's been just lying around and I haven't used them at all so one day I wanted to sew my plushies together uh, sew the parts of my plushies together and I wanted something to hold them and I found these in my drawers and I was like I'll use this to just hold them you know in place and it worked great and since then they are in my essentials kit so for example i have this turtle here right so it works great with uh plushies guys so don't use them with uh, amigurumi because it will make big holes so if for example i wanted to sew this head to the body and i wanted it to stay in place so i'll just stab it and it stays there so and you can sew around so you can do this with all the body parts and it works great so my beloved chopstick now stays in my crochet bag who thought about it right <laughs> um then uh i have this small notepad it's kind of notepad 
so i'll just show you guys comes with a ring so i just attach it to the side of my bag so i use my mobile i use my cell phone for everything like to look at patterns and everything like i don't take printouts so uh, sometimes it's like you know you you have to go again and again and go to the pattern to check and as you know i crochet throughout the day so sometimes i just forget like you know where i was on which step and i don't want i and i don't like going back and you know counting my rows so a quick notepad comes very handy so i just write down my steps like on which row i am or what are the next uh, steps or you know just in short so that i can just refer and quickly at least do three four rows and then go back to the pattern so i use this and it always stays on my bag so i don't lose it so it's here then inside so actually it is very spacious if you see there is a lot of space inside it has four pockets on all sides and i think three skeins of yarn would definitely fit if you want to squeeze them and put them in so it will work so i have the skeins for my ongoing project i'm working on this you'll see this in my next video probably if i finish it in time um so that was my yarn inside then i have safety eyes so i got this from i got this one from amazon when i first started and i'm still using it uh it was a 600 uh 600 piece kit or something i link it down below so it had eyes and uh, it has it had eyes and then it also had pink nose and black nose and i don't use noses so i removed it i just have the safety eyes in this now and this one i got recently from timo the only issue with both are they don't have um they don't have the sizing printed on the box or you know any stickers so it's just the safety eyes and it really it doesn't really matter for me because i don't go with particular sizes i just use whatever looks good with the project so i it doesn't matter to me so still um then i have a notebook so just keep it in case i have to jot down anything any brain dump or any pattern or something so good to have always in your bag then i have this small charms uh just bought them from timo i wanted to put this on like it's small heart i don't know if my phone will focus but yeah small heart just to use it with keychains or something and then i have this nyx um makeup palette uh, eyeshadow palette from nyx i got this from shoppers so to use it with um so whenever i have to put blush on my army groomy projects so i use the pink color from this and the best purchase you guys the most essential thing for me is this lights this is a neck light and it goes around your neck and it has an led here and it moves in whichever direction you want and you can change the color so i basically love the warm one so i keep this and there's a button here and then there is a button here also so you just click so this is like this is really really bright and i don't use this side this is one of my best purchases guys because my baby when he sleeps uh like in late in the evening i don't want to disturb him and i don't want to switch on the lights and this helps me a lot for crocheting i use this every single day it's it's rechargeable so you can charge it with your mobile uh with your mobile charger and the charging it stays for a long time so you don't have to charge it uh, all the time so one charge like gives you many days so amazing purchase you guys it's silicone so it twists and turns in whatever shape you want and stays on your neck not heavy you will you won't feel anything when this is around your neck so i suggest you guys give it a try if you like crocheting in the night and you don't want to stress your eyes a uh, must have purchase my ideal evenings look like after the dinner have a nice cup of tea my neck light 
around my neck my crochet bag and recently started listening to podcasts so i have my podcasts on and i love crocheting in peace so i really love the slides guys you should give it a try definitely uh it's i got this from amazon and i will link it down below so a must from me so that was it for today's video you guys thank you so much for hanging around and uh, I would really appreciate if you could tell me what's your one thing or what's your essential things that you have in your crochet bag. Please comment down below. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in my next video. Happy crafting you guys. Bye.